Well, hi, everyone. I have just got to tell you about my wonderful Labor Day afternoon with my son and my grandson. I had the most marvelous time. You know, my husband is off on his fishing trip. So, I said to my son, we'll have, we'll call up Philip, and he came over. And we went over to the coast, to Florence. And we had the most magnificent meal. Or I know I did. I really treated myself. I had the largest, largest boiled shrimp you ever saw. It had still had the tails on, but they were just huge. I like my finger there, great big things. And then I had the biggest prime rib steak you ever saw on the plate. It covered almost half the plate. And I kid you not, that thing was an inch thick or more. I mean, it was like that. I mean, I never seen such a steak. <laughs> and all the shrimp on the side. And I had some saute veg veggies along with it. They served saute veggies. It was like the yellow squash and the zucchini squash and the bell pepper and the onions all sauteed in butter. It was absolutely gorgeous. I fix those here at the house too. But uh, that's what's in season now here. And I thought it was just delicious. And I had a little side salad. And uh, it had baby, baby shrimp in it. It had a little baby shrimp salad. They called it a Caesar salad with shrimp or whatever, but anyway, I had that, and I love hot chocolate, as a, so I had a cup of hot chocolate and a glass of tea, and uh, I tell you what, my grandson loves that Mongolian grilled stuff with the veggies and the noodles and everything. Well, it's one price and he had two great big platefuls of that. And he ate just about anything and everything. And my son, he had the uh, steak and shrimp and stuff like I did. But they both, uh, my son had to try out the uh, peanut butter pie. <laughs> well, I never eat a peanut butter pie. It looked like a, oh, it was mixed with the, oh, you know, whipped cream or something, you know, all mixed and fluffed up, you know, in it with a little whipped cream on top or whatever. But anyway, yeah, it looked pretty good. He said it was all right, but nothing special. He just, he just said I've never tried once before. And my grandson, he went with the ice cream where he went and he had, the, oh, he had chocolate and caramel and nuts and sprinkles and, man, did he have a dish of ice cream. Me, I could not finish my plate. I tried. <laughs> but there was no way that I could do that. So you see what a wonderful dinner I had. I, I guess I got my money's worth when you can't eat all that's on your plate. So then we had, that was over at Florence, and so the boys, they wanted to gamble a little, and so anyway, I didn't care to. I, I was full, and I was wanting to really come home, but they talked me into stopping at the Three Rivers Casino. Uh, and it's at Florence, Oregon, over on the coast. And anyway, uh, my grandson, had, I gave him $10 and my son $10. 
And at one time, my, my son had $25 out of that tin. I said, hey, let's go. He said, no, nah, here, Mom, here's our $10 back. He had me my $10 back. I said, well, thank you. And I said, now are we ready to go? You got $15 more than what you come in here with. It's time to leave. And my other grandson had, had gotten his up to $13 and almost $14. And I said, no, I didn't ask for the money back or anything. And I said, now, see, you got almost $14, and that's more than what you walked in here with. So aren't we ready to go? If you stay, you're going to lose it. Well, they said, well, we're not here very often. With my truck. Well, guess what? <laughs> my grandson lost every penny of his, and my son come out, and he, had, he got these little slips out, and he come in, and he said, well, I didn't entirely lose. He says, we've got nine cents more than what we went in there with. <laughs> well, they had a good time. I sat around, because I can't walk around very much, and I just find a, a seat someplace, nobody's, uh, machines where nobody isn't playing them whatsoever. They must hate the machines because no one's sitting there playing them. And so I'll sit down and and I said, tell them kids, well, I'm going to be here. <laughs> but we left and we had a wonderful trip back home. We had a nice trip back home. And when we got back home here, why, the dogs was really glad. I mean, they just jumped all over me and them, and they were so tickled that we got back home. And so that evening, I come in here on the computer and I was playing some pinochle uh, with everybody on the computer. I liked doing that. But my son came in and said, All right, Mom, get off of that. We haven't had a game of cards in this house just um, with us for a long time. So I want you to get off of that and come in here. We're going to play spades. Well, I haven't played spades in a long, long time, but we had such a wonderful time with my grandson and my son playing spades and uh, I, my son said, well I've been playing it off and on for a long time, I know the rules. Well, my grandson and I thought he was a little off on the rules, but we said, all right, we'll go by your rules of the game. <laughs> so it took us a little while to even catch up to know what how he was playing the spades and everything. But at the very end, it was, you know, you'd say how many books you're going to do to go out, and I needed six, and my son needed four, and I bid six, and I made you six. I didn't get nothing over or nothing under. I got my six. And my, gra my son, he needed four, and he bidded five, and he made five, so therefore... He, he he beat me. We both went out, but he beat me by, well, bidding five catch, and he did catch five, and so he was out and beat me. <laughs> My grandson was right in there, though. We went to 500. I thought the game would never end, but we just laughed and and had a good time. So I expect that uh, my grandson said he was going to be back over here today, this afternoon. We played until after 12 o'clock last night. And uh, here, that's the latest I've stayed up in ages. But anyway, that was my... So then I said, I'm off to bed. And off to bed I went. So anyway, that was my afternoon and evening with my son and grandson. I had a wonderful time. <laughs> so, uh, bye for now.